Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really good. The video today is basically just a Primark beauty video because I went into Primark today and I ended up getting a fair few bits. If you don't know already, I'm a makeup artist and I did a client's makeup the other day and I may or may not have lost basically all my pencils in my kit. All my cold pencils, all my eyeliner pens, all my glue, my eyelash glue, tweezers, I lost a whole lot. I basically got an Uber ride to my client and I must have lost it on the way somehow. So I've had to replace it, obviously. I don't usually spend this amount of money or get this amount of things from Primark. I've got a few festivals coming up as well, so I had to get a bit, some bits for that. I will let you know as we go, but most of these products can be recycled. Um, if you've got any empties of beauty containers, then you can also be part of the recycling program, which I will link in the description box if you're interested. I just wanna mention as well, if you're worried about the sustainability side of things after my recent videos then definitely look in the description box of this video because I will link Primark sustainability article which they have on their website which tells you everything you need to know about their beauty products about their clothing and everything so if you are interested in that side of things I'll pop that in the description box. I'm gonna start with these first I always get my underwear in Primark they do actually last me quite a long time and I got these this pack of three I think it is. The material that they use is just so soft. A pack of three was five pounds. I got like a light pink, um, a white one and then like this spotty grey one but I always wear this style, it's the Brazilian style and I got them in an extra small, a size six to eight because I find that this material is so like quite stretchy and it's really comfortable, especially if you just shaved or something, this is just like a dream. Also, I quite like going away with like nice underwear and seeing as I got a few festivals coming up, I thought it'd be really nice to chuck on. I did indulge in some perfume because they've got like, I don't know if it's a new range, but I've never ever heard of it before. E Uda perfume? I don't know how to say it. I've never ever used their perfumes ever. But this, I just really like the packaging of it. I thought it was very like Zara. Um, maybe it is a dupe for Zara. They were £3.50 and I was like, this will be perfect for when I'm going away next week. Because I won't have to use my like expensive perfume. I can just use some cheap perfume. And actually, it smells, they smell all, they, they all smell really good. This is the Bulgarian Rose one and you get 50 mils. It's just a very like light fragrance. It's kind of like jasmine-y, vanilla -y rose. It's really, really nice. I just really liked it. I think for £3.50, I think that's amazing. So like I said, I'm going to a festival next week and I am fed up of using wet wipes. So this year I'm trying something different. I have bought this tiny little um, moisturising facial wash by Simple and I don't really use Simple stuff but I find that it is definitely kind to the skin um, and it's less harsh which I really like and it doesn't have any soap in it. It's just a moisturising facial wash and I thought use this instead of my um, wet wipes because it'll be a lot more easier for when I get in in the late night I can just smear it all over my face get a bottle of water, just like and then get a cloth and go and that'll be me done. When you wash your face, it's super refreshing. I think that'll help in a festival so much. This was £1.45 by the way and it's also made out of material which you can recycle as well. Bang it. The next thing that I got, which I'm also going to take with me, and I thought it would be just really handy to have in my kit, my makeup kit as well, is these soothing eye patches. They've got vitamin E in there, and they're patches for just under your eyes, and they're basically like a nice eye treatment. It says it restores elasticity, and there's 15 treatments in there. I find that when I wake up, especially in festivals, or like when I wake up in general, to be honest, I like get really bad puffy eyes, like underneath my eyes. Eyes and they get really swollen. I could probably do one of these on the top of my eyelid as well because they actually like puff over quite a bit. 
Um, so I'm thinking this might be really nice at cooling my eyes. I think most of their makeup products and their skincare products are cruelty free, which is absolutely amazing. These were only a pound and I thought they're gonna be very handy. It's gonna be a really nice addition for my makeup clients as well, because I've got a few weddings. So this might be good to like calm nerves, to make them feel a little bit more pampered. I think it's gonna be a great addition to my kit. I did have a bit of a splurge out on a pair of earrings. Like I could think of worse things to have a splurge out, but I basically got these like cute little kind of like bamboo style gold earrings they were £1.50 I only ever wear gold like you probably see I thought these would like be a perfect like addition to any of my festival outfits if I just want to throw on some earrings this could be a really nice everyday earring for me some of my hoops at the moment are getting really tarnished and Primark earrings actually like they last me quite a long time can't really go wrong I think they're just really cute I love their like bamboo style of it and they're like the perfect size I think as well to like wear every day or night. Unfortunately when I lost half my kit I lost my tweezers, my scissors and nail clippers as well because that I always bring those with me just in case I need them and unfortunately I had to buy some more. Primark had this which is like all, everything I need in like one. It comes in like this container as well to keep them in. Scissors, nail clippers, a nail file, a cuticle picker or whatever they're called, pushers um, and tweezers. So it's everything I really need. It was only £2 and I saw that they had tweezers on their own for like £1.50 and then scissors on their own for a pound, so I just ended up buying them. Also, it's good that they're facing up, they've got a lid on it, which is obviously good for cleanliness. I'll probably be bringing this away with me as well because I cannot live without tweezers and scissors when I'm putting eyelashes on. So whilst we were talking about lashes, I definitely needed some more of the duo glue um, because I only ever use duo glue on my clients and on myself. So this is the quick setting one which dries clear, which is exactly what I need because I hate waiting for glue to dry when I'm doing my lashes. I'm selling this one in Primark for £5.50, which is a really good price for duo glue. And it's long lasting, water resistant and latent text free. So I bought three pairs of lashes from Primark. They have this new style in their like one pound lashes range which is the cheapest range that they do of lashes and it's the double treble false lashes and basically they are double layered and it's quite hard to show you but you'll see in the close up that they are literally got two layers to them which I find is really really good because I hate like lashes that have one set because they just don't look natural. Your lashes naturally have different layers and I love how like wispy they look so I got two packs of those because I, when I saw them I was like I know I'm gonna love them. They do have glue included in the packaging but I never use their glue because I just find it so weak compared to the duo glue. I even reuse these lashes. I'm not sure, sure if you're like supposed to reuse them, but I always reuse the lashes so that I spend less and you know, it is a bit more sustainable. I will let you know how they go on my Instagram, which I'll link down below. I thought I would treat myself and buy some really like premium lashes as well. These are the kind of deluxe Primark lash range, which they have. It's called Dull Faux Mink Lashes, and the glue is included with this. I'm not sure if it's a different glue, um, but I still probably would use dual glue just to be on the safe side. They have this whole like dull lash range, which I find the lashes look really wispy. They look very similar to like the Lily lashes or the Tatty lashes. A bit more expensive, four pounds, but I think I will be getting my wear out of this. Whereas with those lashes, I can probably only get two wears out of. This lash, I'll probably get maybe like four or five wears out of it. The quality of these lashes are amazing and I would definitely love to wear these, like especially on like a date night occasion. I feel like they're like a must when it comes to a festival. I'll let you know how they go, but I will be using these on the weekend. They look really like three dimensional, which is what made me like pick them up. So the next thing that I got was another little indulgent thing and I cannot wait 
to do my nails, literally, I'm so excited. I bought these because I think this is gonna be amazing. These are like four different nail polishes, um, so I can do my nails like all different colors, like kind of like rainbow vibe, and I don't need to wear falsies like on my nails. I find that I just, the Primark ones just ping off and they don't last me very long, and when I'm doing like makeup on people, I find it's just very irritating to have. I really wanna get back into like painting my real natural nails again, and I think this is gonna make me want to embrace it a bit more. And these are four different nail polishes and they were two pound. And it's like perfect for a festival. It's got like a pink, an orange, a yellow, and a blue. So to replace my kit, I had to get a few things, which is annoying because some of these are in plastic packaging, Primark. If anyone knows how I can like recycle the plastic packaging at home, please let me know. The first thing that I needed in my kit was eyeliner. This one is in Primark, this is Makeup Revolution, but I thought I would just mention it. I haven't used it before, but what really drew me to it was it said, Waterproof, smudge proof, intense black, felt it liner. I'm going to swatch this on my hand if I can ever get into this packaging. I don't know if you can see like how intense that black is, but it's really nice. I cannot wait to use that. That looks amazing. Hi guys, Amy from the future here. I just wanted to let you know that this eyeliner was shit. So I'm just going to skip over this bit and yeah, thank you. This I've wanted to try for a while. So this is the highlight um, pencils. Annoying that it comes in this packaging. I'm gonna try and just get it off. One pound for the set, the white pencil and the nude pencil and a sharpener. I needed a sharpener, so that's why I got it. I thought it was good that it came in a little set though because white and nude are so good for like lifting your eye. It's like this nude pencil on the waterline. I think it's tight line. I also got a skinny brow pencil. I only ever use their skinny brow pencils because I think they're amazing. The one in the brown colour, I think it's dark brown or went, which is really annoying because I use that on my clients all the time. It's an ultra fine brow defining pencil and comb. So it has one pencil on one end, it has like a brush on the other. But yeah, these were two pound and they are amazing. This is the only thing I ever really use. It's got such a skinny like pencil to it, which makes it really good to get like fine hairs and define your eyebrow a lot better. The only thing is all the good shades go out very quickly. I'm gonna swatch this for you so you can see. This color is, I would say, is for more of a blonde, I'd say. More of like a warmer brown color. I do already have a darker, eyebrow pencil that I use on myself, which is the It Cosmetics one. Here is the brown colour, the light brown um, skinny brow pencil there. And as you can see, I've pressed quite hard, so it's a bit thicker, but you can actually get a lot of a smaller um, defined line with it. You can definitely double this up as an eyeliner, a brown eyeliner as well. I did get another darker um, brow pencil as well. This one is a bit thicker and more like your traditional brow pencil. Oh my God. This is the color dark brown. This is a pound, it's the PS brow pencil, so it's the cheapest one that you can get. It's got a spoolie on one end and then like a proper pencil on the other. So I've just swatched that in the middle there for you and compared to this one here, sorry this is getting a bit complicated, but this is the one that I just showed you then the um, skinny brow pencil and then this one here is the darker one and um, this is way more for like a brunette or like a darker deeper skin tone and also it comes with a spoolie on the other end which is great this can also double up for an eyeliner for your lid as well especially like a wing liner because it's quite intense like an intense brown color it'll be really nice smoked out still on brow products i thought i would try this um clear brow gel it's the ps define clear brow gel. Um, I've wanted a clear brow gel for like ever, I'm not gonna lie. The brow gel that I use is the Glossier brow gel but it did not last me long at all. I'm actually gonna try this now. So first impressions guys. I should probably like zoom you in. It's making them look super wet but I kind of like it. That one's been done with the eyebrow and then this one hasn't it's really like lifted my brow i wonder how it's gonna like dry it has made my hairs look a lot more defined i actually quite like that you know but that is looking quite good 
so far um, and it was only a pound which is good. The next thing that I got was just basically a coal pencil. Um, this is just a coal eye pencil which was a pound in Primark and it does and says what it does on the tin is literally just a coal pencil. I'm not going to swatch this for you. I find that with coal pencils you don't really need to go excessive with it, you don't need to go like premium on the coal pencil front. Um, you can kind of realistically, this is probably going to last me a long, long time. It's only a pound as well and it does the job. It looks like it's going to be easy to sharpen, which is a good thing. This is like the darkest colour you can get. It's called Black Magic. There's not really a lot to say about it other than it's a cold pencil. And the last thing I'm showing you is basically a lip pencil and I needed a lip pencil in my kit. I don't really tend to use lip pencils very much. I've got a dark nude colour. Um, oh my god, this is killing me. I think it was a pound and it's in the shade Toffee, which is like this like dark nude colour. I'm going to swatch this on my hand for you. Such a nice colour. So this is the Toffee colour here and you can see how nice it is. It's like this perfect like ready brown nude colour. It's going to be really nice under my eyes as well and as eyeliner. It would actually look really nice with this colour here which is Whirl from MAC. But yeah, that is the last item. £34 in Primark and got all those things which I definitely really needed in my kit and for festival season so I'm happy I got all those items. Thank you so much for watching guys, I will try and link all the information and all the product links down below if I can. I'd love to see you again so please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.